C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. A thousand years ago, outside the city walls, a strong aura of death floated in the moat. The clear river suddenly turned a dark red color, and the slightest approach would be terrifying. Isn't it too cruel to have so many innocent people buried in the belly of a fish? He's practically a sinner. I wonder how long it will take for these wronged people to be reborn, the weather is clear, why is it so cold when we are near the river? Let's hurry up and leave. Wait a little longer, someone has already sent someone to invite Yao Tianxiu over. Yao Angel is an esteemed expert of the Tao, she will definitely be able to resolve this matter. The inside of the Zhanghe River was packed with people, but no one dared to approach it. They only discussed in groups of three to five, constantly looking in the direction of Zhanghe Bridge, as if waiting for the arrival of the mysterious person. In the distance, a frail but energetic old woman slowly appeared. Her hair was already white, but her eyes were as sharp as lightning. A crude wooden cane hit the ground, behind him, a teenage girl followed closely. Her face was like a carved jade, and her cheeks were red. Her watery big eyes made people unable to shift their gaze away. Evil creature, so many lives have been wrongly killed. Aren't you afraid of retribution? The old woman stared at the river shrouded in mist with a face full of anger. Her walking stick struck the ground heavily, and a ray of light spread out from the old man's body. It quickly swept towards the river and covered the river, the surrounding crowd burst into a flurry of discussion. Strange, it was cold as winter just a moment ago, but why wasn't it cold now? Look, the river is changing color. Someone shouted, and the others all gathered to look. The dark, frightening waters of the river were becoming clear at a speed visible to the naked eye, just like before. It must be Yao Tianxia. That old man really does have a Taoist master. Those with sharp eyes had already noticed the old man who was standing on the bridge not far away. The surrounding crowd of spectators instantly surged forward and bowed to the old woman who stood still. Linger, come here, the old man's tone was normal, but it was emitting a pressure that ordinary people would not be able to resist, I have temporarily suppressed the grievances that have been accumulated under the river, but my ability is limited. If you want to make these ghosts give up their grudges and reincarnate, you must eliminate the one who caused you trouble. The old man glanced at the young girl beside him, you must always remember this in your heart. This will be an important test for you, and you cannot fail it. The young girl obediently answered and then started to walk towards the palace gate, the elder looked at the girl thoughtfully before sighing. Everything is faded. I hope that Ling Air can overcome this calamity. Her future is limitless. If she fails, the entire Yao family will suffer. Time flew. A thousand years later. Little Yen, Little Yen. Yao Xiaoyan, who was napping at the scene of the filming was suddenly awoken by her temporary assistant, Bai Xiao Bai's voice. She hurriedly sat up and touched the saliva at the corner of her mouth, rubbing her eyes and staring angrily at Bai Xiao Bai, Lil, White, I just fell asleep for a moment and you woke me up. After a long period of insomnia, Yao Xiaoyan wore a pair of thick dark circles around her eyes. In her dreams, she would always dream of a young girl in red walking towards her, but each time, she could not clearly see the young girl's face. The director called you, didn't you hear? It's almost time to start shooting. Are you still sleeping? Bai Xiao Bai, who was one year older than Yao Xiaoyan, had always taken care of her like a big sister. Although she felt sorry for her lack of sleep, it couldn't affect her work. Otherwise, the director would have an opinion, did you try the sleeping pill I bought for you last time? Whether it works or not. Yao Xiaoyan helplessly shook her head. She didn't know whether the medicine tubes worked or not because she hadn't taken any of them ever since the red dot clothed girl entered her dream, sleep had become a fear. Yao Xiaoyan was even worried that one day she might suddenly die in her sleep. Therefore, she dared not take sleeping pills or anything like that lightly. Yao Xiaoyan, come over immediately. Don't keep Sister Hong and the director waiting for you at the side. 
A vicious voice rang out. The assistant director was already standing in front of Xiaoyan, waving the script in front of her. All right, I'll be there right away. Xiao Yan quickly stood up and walked forward. As she passed by the assistant director, her eyes swept over the assistant director. Yao Xiaoyan was stunned for a moment. Her face changed slightly and a grave expression appeared on her forehead, trembling. He put on the sunglasses in his hands and looked back at the assistant director. After confirming that there was no mistake, he quickly lowered his head, another face appeared on that face. It was a little girl with empty eyes. Blood was seeping out of her eyes as she stared at Yao Xiaoyan. Hurry up and leave. Yao Xiaoyan pulled by Xiao Bai along as she quickly walked forward. Little Yen, did you see something again? Seeing Yao Xiaoyan's strange expression, Bai Xiao Bai quickly followed and asked in a low voice, Yao Xiaoyan did not say anything but tightly held on to Bai Xiao Bai with her trembling hands. She lowered her head and continued walking forward. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.